Well, first of all, we're absolutely delighted that the uh, IATA Airlines have adopted this resolution at the AGM here. Um, what it means is it is a, a firm commitment reaffirms the previous commitment of the airline industry um, to the adoption of a global market-based measure for aviation by ICAO, and specifically a mandatory carbon offsetting scheme that would be implemented from 2020. And that's going to allow our industry to meet its uh, 2020 target of carbon neutral growth. Well, the aviation industry has adopted a four-pillar strategy to address its climate impact, and it's through the use of um, operational measures, better use of infrastructure and new technology that we're already achieving um, significant um, reductions in CO2 emissions. But why we need this carbon offsetting scheme is the fourth pillar of our strategy. It's an e economic measure to allow us to um, achieve this carbon neutral growth target of 2020, where the other three pillars have not quite got us to that, uh, to that target. This is a political process and in any political process there's no guarantee of the final outcome until the, uh, the agreement is, is signed. But we do see real engagement from the governments um, in this process. We see genuine uh, attempts to find consensus on some very sensitive political issues. And there is precedent for this in the recent past. Governments have shown willingness to come to agreement um, in the climate space area. In December of last year, we had the Paris Agreement under the UNFCCC. And just in February this year, uh, at ICAO, governments um, agreed on a CO2 certification standard um, for new aircraft. So governments have shown willingness to come together um, in the recent past on this issue. And so we are confident that come the ICAO assembly in September, governments again will, will show that willingness um, to achieve consensus and to achieve agreement. One of the key uh, aspects of the negotiation at ICAO is exactly this, it's to ensure um, genuine reductions in CO2 um, emissions um, across, the, uh, across the world. And the, the rules will provide very clear um, guidance on the types of projects which will be approved and the criteria for which the, uh, the units, the credits that um, airlines can purchase will be, uh, will be eligible. Um, we're looking at a whole range of different projects, looking for example from uh, reforestation projects to cleaner energy projects in, in developing states. Um, the fundamental aspect for us really is to make sure that um, the rules provide for very strict criteria um, for, um, for approval of those projects and, and we're confident that the governments are moving in that direction in the discussions.